Guys, welcome back to Silver Studios. Okay, we, I guess, segment two of doing this massive mock now. This is a good, pretty medium sized ish mock. So, what I have done since the last time I talked to you, I built that tree as I said. I didn't have as many brown pieces as I thought to build the trunk, so I went with black instead. Mm, I'm really not liking the waterfall. The waterfall might be cut out, it's just not looking great. I don't know, I'm maybe going to do some, like, put some foliage in, all that, and, I don't know, that'll probably be the only tree. I don't know, it might be taken out later, the waterfall. Um, that is not going to be touched. The mountain may or may not be touched this week. I might touch on that a little bit, but we're really going to work mainly here, building up this big building. So I have a bunch of my bricks down here, just grab a big handful. Um, it's red scheme, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to put bricks down there, and we're going to just build it up. Um, I had the big tall thing from the waterfall before this, and um, I took it down and put a little bit around, so we're going to start building this up. So, I think for the best way to get into this thing would be, this is obviously going to be a big door right there, but instead of, like, making a roof that's removable, because you can't get in and see all the little details on the walls and stuff, I think it's best if we take plates and stuff and make a wall that will just open up. I think that would probably be the best way to do it. So I'm going to actually remove a bunch probably from about here to down about here. Probably that will be our removable wall. I think we're going to work out with that. Okay, that's completed. The beginning of the door is completed. So it is two bricks high, the door starts. And what we had to do is... This is a normal brick right here, normal, one of these, but above it to create the door, more because we need to put these flat pieces on top of it, we need to plate it, so there's two rounds of one by a some amount of plates, about this thin, two rows of those, then there's the one row on top of the one by some tiles, so the door doesn't like get like jammed under it and like stuck up the studs on. So you could be like, wait, why didn't you just leave a gap? It doesn't look as good. But this is going to happen, and then these are going to be hinges in white, because I don't have them in red, so I'm going to do a white layer next. Door will be red d with the rest of the building. Up above that should be white, and then we'll do two rows of red, and then the door white. I'm not sure. I'll show you it as we continue, though. Okay, bad news. We've run out of this light red piece. Oh, no. This is not good. I was wanting to do the entire base in this right, and this is tiny, this base, so far, um, I don't have anything to really compare it to. Okay, this is a 1x2 brick. So small it is. It's not that tall at all. It's probably 6 bricks high. Now, these yellow bricks, ignore those. Those are just so the base plates don't separate while I'm building. Um, what do we do here? As you can see here on the back wall that opens up, I had to put some maroon bricks on the top. Okay, so what I can do is I can, I have a couple different bricks what I could do. I could put, I could do orange. Orange doesn't look too bad. Um, I could do yellow. That was a little too bright. Those are probably the two biggest. And maybe we could do two rows in black. I don't know, those are the colors. I think we might do orange because it's the closest. Maroon, we do have some maroon, but we don't have a lot of it so we could do maybe half a row in maroon but that would just look really really weird what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these pieces off at the bottom of this make that all white so it's a continuous white strip try to take out all these maroon and then do orange and then do white and orange that's probably what I'll do so I'll keep you posted this is it this is how much white we have left we ended we ran out of orange completely we have like th we have like six seven oranges left um, not even enough to probably, probably just enough to do half a round on this. So we had, I'll show you, I saw a tub of bricks. We had probably enough to do half of it. Maybe we could have gone a full round. I just didn't want to risk it. So we swapped to yellow over there and then just enough white to do the back. Um, maybe we could have done like just the front, but it would look weird. So that's it guys. That's the height of it. Um, wow. Um, I need to put some finishing touches onto this thing some finishing touches and then we can start building like roofs and all that sort of stuff 
so I'm gonna put some finishing touches onto it. Is the end to the main part of this area. That was a crazy build for today. Wow. Um, as you can see, the big back wall was completed. So we had to do the same thing at the bottom as we did to the top, but it completely opens now. So that will be helpful once we get a bunch of, you know, the plates on top. There's still a bunch of work left to do on this mock, but I think that's probably all I'm going to do for today. I do not expect, like, doing later today and being like, yeah, I'm going to go build the second story to this because there will be more to this building right here. The mountain needs to still be closed up and off. That, whatever we're calling those um, cylinder pieces over there, that needs more. Here I can, and the tree's not too great, and um, I might change it, but the tree I think should stay the same for the moment. River looks great. Waterfall may or may not stay. I do like it, but I do like the idea of it. I don't know if it's just going to stay is my only thing. So I think that's why I'm going to leave it off for today, guys. Bye.